Homeboy.tv. I'm your host Ravi and today we're in Montreal with legendary Montreal chef Nanta Kumar who's been cooking in Montreal for about 17 years and today we're really lucky to have him squeeze in a show with us because he's jumping on a plane in Malaysia and he's going to share with us his world famous Pad Thai recipe. Nanta, welcome to the show. Thank you. So again, thanks for uh, doing this. I know you have a really busy schedule. So your Pad Thai recipe, I know you're um, it's, a, it's a recipe that's been in high demand and you were, you were trying to share with the world today? Basically, yes, the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just, I, I don't understand what's so difficult about it. You know, everybody uh, tells that I made the best pad thai and it's not that difficult. So I'm going to give the recipe and then from now on, you guys are on your own. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Until I come back next year. <laughs> it's a lot of pressure, everyone. <laughs> yes. Okay, so let's do it. So we've got a lot of ingredients. So why don't you walk us through what we have? So here we have the, a puree of onion, garlic and ginger, equal parts. Uh, blended in a little bit of water in a magic bullet or a, or a blender. Great. I've got uh, pre-cooked shrimp, pre-cooked chicken. Um, I use chicken thighs, they're tastier than, uh, than breast meat. I cook it with a little bit of hot sauce and a little bit of uh, soy sauce, so it's already flavored. Okay. And I drain off this, the sauce that it doesn't retain any liquid. Ah, okay. Yeah. Then mm. too much liquid in, in the noodle frying process breaks the noodles down. Okay, so you're okay. trying to minimize the liquid. Yeah, exactly. Time. Same okay. thing with the shrimp, you squeeze out the water. Got it. Okay? Okay. So what I've done here is I've got the noodles, one portion of noodles set aside in this bowl. Here I've got the hard vegetable napa cabbage, which, is, which I take away from the soft part. Okay. Okay. So we've got Napa cabbage, and you split it up into hard and soft. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. We'll find out why later. Section. Exactly. So okay. here I've got the hard veg, chicken, and shrimp. Here I've got the soft veg and the bean sprouts. So Perfect. basically, they go in three stages. Okay. So we've okay. got a tablespoon of, of the gog. I call it garlic, onion, ginger. Gog. gog. Like that. People like Love that. Love it. Yeah. Okay. And this is sambal oleg. It's a pre-made chili paste. And that's chili, your, that, chili, that's your brown chili. Yeah. That's your chili. chili paste of choice. Well, this is basically the ground chili. Right. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. So if you want it spicy, put one one teaspoon Got or it. more. Okay. And that's what you start with. That, um, just the other ingredients that you have here. Um, you've got noodles. So tell, tell us a little bit about the noodles. Okay. Noodles are really, it's really important to soak. These, these are the medium sized uh, rice uh, noodles. Okay. Okay. I use the elephant brand from Thailand. Uh, soak it in hot tap water for about an hour, maybe two. Always take it out, bite it. Make yeah. sure it's still hot. Okay. Okay. okay? Still has to, sure. It has to be hot. Okay. And uh, if you if you put it in the hot boiling water, it'll start cooking the noodles and it'll become mush okay. in the wok. So avoid that. So you want to cook so the noodles in the wok basically? In the wok, exactly. Right. So right. you want the noodles to be still like called rice sticks as opposed to soggy noodles. Okay. If the noodles are soggy here, you'll screw um, it up. And here. now some other stuff you have there. Basically, you have two types of soy sauce. We've got uh, a dark, I use mushroom soy, but you can use any dark soy to okay. give it a, a dark color. Okay. And then the light soy gives it the salt. Okay. Okay. And and the fish sauce, you can use any brand of fish sauce. You just use two, three drops of it. Don't okay. use too much. And it, it overpowers everything. Got it. And then you got some chopped peanuts. Uh, yeah. This is ground peanuts. This is going to be the garnish. Okay. And the coriander is the same coriander. thing. It's going to be garnish. And then bean sprouts. Bean sprouts. But you also garnish the top of it. And then brown the sugar. Brown sugar. Yeah. And lime instead of lemon, right? Uh, you, well, if you don't have limes, you can use lemon. It's no okay, big deal. Okay. I mean, it, uh, limes better. I've always been told you know it's authentic Thai if you, if it comes with lime instead of a lemon. Well, I mean, if you if you know if you run out of uh, of lemons, <laughs> right? It's not it's not the end of the world. You're making gin and tonic, you know. <laughs> if you run out of lemons, use limes. Right, it's exactly. No big deal. I mean, it's, you can't be too fussy about those kind of stuff. Sounds you know? good. Sounds good. I okay, like it. so okay. we got the wok. You want to make sure that the wok is hot. Okay. There we go. It's Perfect. hot now. You, right. It needs to be hot. So, let the water evaporate. Right. And this oil you're using, is it... Uh, it's vegetable oil. It's vegetable oil. It's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So here, you get this. Okay. So get that going. See how all, there's no, almost no water left? Because everything is dry. Right, see, it has to be dry. You don't right. want water swimming around in there. And your, your wok's on high heat the entire high heat, time? High heat all the time. Keep it blazing. Keep it, keep it blazing. Okay. So basically, uh, I mean, I'll explain the BT of there. So this is three racha sauce goes in, about a tablespoon. Okay. Okay. So we're, we're going for a spicy pad thai right now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. If it's not spicy, it's useless. Right. Okay, so you got one tablespoon of brown sugar in it. Got it. And, and then egg goes in. Perfect. Okay. You break the egg in. This is your sauce. 
This is your this sauce. This is your sauce, exactly. Okay. Don't use ketchup. Don't do Chinese style, no, Chinese style pad thai, you know? Chinese. Okay, so now we've got noodles, everything in. Push the noodles away from you, fold it over so don't, you don't break the noodles. Okay. See that? Like the right. way you fold an omelet. Right. Exactly like that. Okay. Right. Now you want to get the dark soy in. Okay. That will color it. Okay. Bring the soft vegetables in. Okay, so now the last one is like you add a little bit more light soy. Okay. To give it. And then put a couple of drops of fish sauce, just like that. That's it. Okay. Don't overpower because it's very, very salty, the fish sauce. And this serving here we're making is for one person? It's for one person, yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, it's better to make, you know, single portion. Single portion. It's portions. a lot tastier. Right. You can use other vegetables in it too if you want. You can use mustard greens. Okay. Now it's done. It's got the right amount of right amount of you see it's not wet. There's no water right. leaking out from the vegetable. Right. No water leaking out from the shrimp, no water leaking out from the chicken. That's right. why it's better to pre-cook all that. You and you got that nice kind of sticky exactly. texture. See how it's all sticking together? Perfect. There you go. Amazing. And now we go, are going to garnish it. A little bit of bean sprouts. Got some coriander. Chop up some coriander. Beautiful. There you go. And we'll cut a nice wedge of lime. <laughs> because if it's not lime, it's not... It's not real pad thai. It's not real pad thai, right? <laughs> okay, so you know, it would be nice to have a little bit of red something like that. Oh, wow. There we go. Perfect. And we'll garnish it finally with ground peanuts. There you go. Voila. Perfection. <coughs> nice and steamy. There you have it. Killer pad thai from our guest, Nathan Kumar, local Montreal chef, sharing his infamous pad thai with the world. Now we can all go home and try to make this. Thanks again for watching Mama's Boy TV. I'm your host, Ravi, and we'll see you soon.